Hi, everybody. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Thank you so much for being here. This thing keeps shaking. My goodness. Shout out to everybody in the chat. I suspect, and shout out to everybody. Thank you so much, you guys, for hitting the like button. I suspect, um, just thinking out loud. So I wanted to keep this conversation going with Selena Quintanilla and the new docuseries that's coming around where Yolanda is going to be telling never before, you know, never before secrets, right? Secrets that nobody knows, right? So we got ahead of it last week and then we did a little bit of translation to the first interview that Yolanda Saldivar did um, with the Univision Network and Primer Impacto. We did a little translating. So one of the things that I found about this video and it, as I'm talking about this specific case um, is that people tend to watch a lot. Like I just noticed that the replay game is huge. So shout out to you for watching the replay game. It, listen, if I am taking the time, it's very hard to translate, especially when dialects are different and they're broken. All I ask you guys is to please hit the like button. That's all I want. Y'all, if you like the content, thank you so much. But for the purposes of translating, just hit the like button or dislike whatever engagement you can give me would be awesome. So let's get the let's just hit the ground running right away, okay? Um I got me some water because I know my throat's going to get dry. So people were hitting me up and said rabbit. Thank you for translating the Primer Impacto interview with the reporter and Yolanda Saldivar. Thank you for thank you for doing that. I got a lot of great feedback. People emailed me, people messaged me, DM me. Um, it, that was awesome. People that didn't like, especially those that don't speak Spanish that were in the area that where a lot of this was going down, uh, they felt like at least the feedback that I got, they felt like it was very inclusive of them. Like they knew that this was a huge thing in the Latino community. So for them, it was very much hearing that other side and hearing the translation was helpful. For them to understand now let me just say this i am not the perfect translator note that it like i said it's hard to translate you have at the time when we were reviewing when we were reviewing yolanda saldivar's interview with primer impacto her spanish is very spanglish so it's a bit choppy um and it's a mixture of english and spanish so it's hard to kind of pick up sometimes and then also maria celeste Arras, the reporter who we're going to be talking about today as well her space, she's Puerto Rican, so it's a different kind of Spanish, different dialect. What we're going to do is let's talk about and hit the ground running because Selena Quintanilla's father, A.B. Quintanilla, Abraham Quintanilla, okay, the, the man who has done everything in his power to protect the legacy of his daughter. We know that. Um, you know, I mean, he will, he is very much litigious about historically has been about reporters, about people, about people trying to rewrite stories of Selena. He's very protective of his daughter's legacy, as I think any father would be. Um, and it's been great to kind of even open up and go back to this time machine of when I was a child and I was listening to some of these interviews, because what I realized is when Selena died, she died without a will. So she had a lot of open businesses out there. So there was a lot of things, a lot of finances that were opening. Yes, Groovy Nikki, he did. He went, the family went as far as to try to sue. They did settle it. They they figured it out. Um, there was a point in time when they stopped talking to each other. And I believe they're reunited like in 2023 or 2022. But Groovy Nikki, you're right. Um, Abraham Quintanilla has gone as far as to sue Selena's then husband. Um, because you're absolutely right. Nobody, you know, she, Selena didn't leave a will. Nobody thinks you're going to die at the age of 23. Um, that's a given, right? And especially with somebody who presents themselves to be this really helpful figure, this motherly figure, right? This figure that is there to guide you, um, which is what Yolanda presented herself to be to the family, to the fan club to the people that worked in um, uh, the shops that she owned. Uh, you know, she she really was able to gain some trust. However, behind closed doors, 
there was a different story. Employees were complaining. People were saying, something's wrong with Yolanda. People felt like they were intentionally being set up to have conflict with Selena. And people were saying that Yolanda Saldivar wanted Selena to herself. So throughout the years since Selena's death, okay, and again, she's she's eligible for parole in 2025, March 30th of 2025. It doesn't mean she's going to be granted parole. I personally, as somebody that reviews two crime, does not know how somebody who isn't remorseful, hasn't taken fault for the death, for the harm, for the pain and damage that she caused the family, the victim's family, uh, the community, because truly this was a thing that impacted everybody. One thing you have to remember is before Selena Quintanilla's trial, it was O.J. Simpson. So people were charged up, right, at this time. It was like, they, it, it, it was just the time to have trials. Let me just say that much. How is somebody who has no remorse and no doesn't show it, how is she able to be even eligible? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. The idea of her wanting her to herself is creepy. Absolutely. Okay. So we're going to get ready. Uh, we're going to read this article, excuse me, from the New York Post because the New York Post has been on it. Social media. Okay. There's been some really funny creators that have pointed this out. They're ready for Yolanda Saldivar to get out of jail. Right. Yeah. I mean, shout out. To, you know, they're, they're just like, we're ready. Yolanda's out. Oh, she, she's eligible. Let's go. Tell me when. You know, uh, and to a certain degree, um, there's some humor behind it, but at the same time, it's kind of like a bittersweet situation that after so many years, um, I don't believe that people have that the pain or even the fact that this young girl's life was taken away, like you can never consolidate that, right? And so Abraham Quintanilla finds out about this docuseries from Oxygen that we're going to be reviewing here and is basically slamming Oxygen True Crime because, number one, it didn't have his authorization. And let me tell you something. This is not the first time that Abraham Quintanilla has dealt with um, media not having their authorization in terms of information and everything, right? So he kind of feels like this is just a ploy because she's up almost up for, for parole, at least el eligibility-wise. But this is just um, a ploy to give somebody a platform that has yet to repent and that has yet to really show any remorse for the death of Selena. And now the family's also engaging in all of this. Yolanda Saldivar's family. Don't forget that the interviews include family, allegedly families in their trying to help Yolanda Saldiva. So the New York posted an article, and this was maybe a couple days ago on the 7th, Selena Quintanilla's dad slams oxygen doc featuring his daughter's killer. Nothing but lies. Mm. The father of Selena Quintanilla, who was brutally murdered in 1995, has lashed out against a new oxygen documentary featuring her convicted killer, Yolanda Saldiva. The Texas-born Selena, a Grammy-winning Grammy winning singing sensation known as the Queen of Tejano Music, was only 23 when she was shot to death by Saldivar, her confidant, agent, president of fan club in a hotel room in Corpus Christi, Texas, in March of 1995. So it's a two-part series that will be premiering this weekend, well, the 17th, which I believe is Friday. Yes, at 8 p.m. on Oxygen in their true crime programming. Selena's father, Abraham Quintanilla, was interviewed by TMC about the documentary, which he called nothing but lies, and added that the family was not involved, meaning the Quintanilla family is not involved. Let's be clear, um, uh, according to the Daily Mail. So Abraham told TMZ that he wanted absolutely nothing to do with Yolanda since everything she says is nothing but lies. Lies, lies, lies. 
No one's going to believe what she has to say anyway, he told TMZ. Everyone knows there's zero tooth truth to anything that comes out of her mouth. Hmm. Selena was an established star with several big hits and a chain of boutiques. So believe it or not, the people, those that were watching the replay videos, um, the people, there's people out there that do believe what Yolanda Salibar is saying. To a certain degree. I'm not. Do I believe that Selena might have had a couple secrets here and there? Sure. Did she have maybe certain people that she talked to that didn't, you know, that she felt like she could trust? Yeah, sure. But as far as there being a diary, a video or whatever, I'm not believing it. I'm not believing anything, but you're absolutely right, Miss Nikki. Like, who doesn't have secrets? Yo, she's 23. She's in the prime of her life. She, she is, a, you know, she's married. She's young. She's beautiful. She probably has had a lot of, you know, had a lot of men or, or people that kind of threw themselves at her because she was a successful. So for me, it's like everybody, there might have been a skeleton, one or two, who I, I was 23 once. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had several skeletons, secrets, but none of which should justify her murder or would have led to. Like, nothing in my mind that, Celine, that, that Yolanda does at this point is going to justify her murder. It just isn't. It, it never will. So I wanted to take us back to 1995. Y'all tell me what you were doing in 1995, okay? Because it was a long time ago. And so, again, Abraham Quintanilla has responded. He's like, listen, I am believing shit that this woman is saying. And this is why I think that the very first interview that Yolanda Saldivar did with Maria Celeste Raras, this reporter, is very important. Because from the jump, Yolanda Saldivar said that there was the secret and she couldn't reveal then. She did a shitload of interviews afterwards and she did a bunch of things and she couldn't reveal it then. You said you were in the fifth grade? <laughs> Shout out to Kelly. <laughs> yeah, I was I was in the fifth or sixth grade or fourth grade. Girl, we we were we were probably in the same grade. Look at that. Y'all were home taking care of babies. Shout out to everybody. You were getting ready to graduate. All right. You're a 90s baby. I am a 90s kid. So exactly, Miss Jackie, like, what do her skeletons even have to do with her murder? She's so wrong. Can the family sue her for defamation? I don't know. Um, I guess it, it, it depends on what the series is going to say at this point. You know what I'm saying? Um. But I will say that I do feel like Abraham Quintanilla, I, I just think that what I have seen Abraham Quintanilla do in, in the last five years, he really, he at one point, he was very litigious. At this point, he's kind of relaxed himself. Maybe there's an age back, like he's just like, you know, kind of maturing at this point. He's like, I can't chase after everybody, every conspiracy theory that people throw out there. I mean, I'm telling you. The comments that people left me, people said this was a blood sacrifice. This was dad had this. This has been a longstanding rumor, which is totally unsubstantiated. The person that wrote this in my comments, please know this is unsubstantiated. It was talked about in court that somehow. Um, Abraham Quintanilla, Selena's dad, prevented her from having a blood transfusion. That is uns that that is totally false because the doctor also testified all of that and basically said that selena her artery where she was shot was severed right like where where the bullet entered and they had opened everything to try to even give her a blood transfusion they tried but her 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 veins were collapsed. She was already DOA. Thank you. When when she arrived at the hospital, they were trying their best. She was actually brain dead because of just the inactivity. 
And uh, keep in mind that she was running out of the room. Out of the room. And so then she's already got a severed artery. You're running out of the room. You're going to bleed to death. That's what's going to happen. And that's what happened. She had no blood. She, the, Selena didn't. She was shot from the back. I don't even think. I think she saw the gun and immediately turned. She turned. She saw the gun, turned around, and then left that room. She didn't even see herself get shot. I'm sure she felt herself get shot, but I don't think she saw what actually happened. She ran. She ran out of that room. And it's BS for those that say, well, no, the father. I don't think so. I'm sorry. Y'all can have the spinning wheel conspiracy theory hat. That's fine. I respect your opinion. But I don't think this was a sacrifice. I'm j I just don't see it. I don't. I get people say, well, she was worth more, more dead than she was alive. Yeah, every celebrity probably um, makes people, you know, they do that. That's just how it is. That doesn't mean that he wanted her dead. That's it. Yeah, and, and the doctors, thank you for saying that. The dogs aren't going to listen to her father. They had a patient to save. That's right. When, by the time that they call Abraham, I mean, they were already working on her. He was, he was, um, he didn't know that she had left. He was still asleep at the time when all of this went down. He had no clue. Now, let's go back over here. This specific interview I'm going to do a little translation to it. I did put, just to help me a little bit, um, I put the closed captions in English. You guys can read them as well. We'll read them together. But I wanted to tell you guys something. Um, this is going to be probably a two-part translation thing because it's a lot to translate, okay? And I don't want to do two hours. I did two hours last time translating this, and it was a lot. It was hard. I was tired. Yes, Chris hadn't gotten to the hospital. I mean, he probably didn't even know everything that was going on. Okay. So, let's get it together. So, 1995, uh, this is the reporter, Maria Celeste Herreras. For those that don't know, Maria Celeste Herreras wrote a book. Um, it's on Audibles. It's available English and Spanish if you guys want to go listen. Uh, Abraham Quintanilla has since slammed and basically dragged this reporter. Maria Celeste Herreras is being accused of pandering to Yolanda Saldivar, pandering on her lies, basically pushing the narrative that Selena had this big secret. They all believe it. I don't know. This is what Abraham Quintanilla was upset in terms of this reporter. So Maria Celeste Herreras has the interview with Yolanda Saldivar. A couple of days later, the way Maria Celeste Herreras tells it in her book, Abraham Quintanilla contacts her and says to her, I want to do an interview with her, with you. And so then they sit down and do this interview. We're going to review it. Okay. Who we, let me make myself very small. And this is, by the way, the channel Adriano Filmer. You guys should check it out if you want to. He's got a lot of like throwback interviews and whatnot. Mm. And I will be taking water breaks. Please hit the like button and let's start. secreto de Selena. Él también nos revela que Yolanda supuestamente trató de matar a la cantante en cuatro ocasiones antes de lograrlo. Y por último nos enseña en exclusiva los sensitivos documentos que, según él, prueban que Yolanda Saldívar es una ladrona. So here she's just giving an intro, just saying that he, she's got an exclusive interview with Abraham Quintanilla. Abraham is coming with this interview to give at the time he was given exclusive receipts the trial had already happened in these exclusive receipts the da was still trying to work with um uh the family to try to charge yolanda with some level of fraud or forgery based on the money that she had em allegedly embezzled just so you guys know, Yolanda Saldivar was never charged with embezzlement, although she did have a history of stealing people's money, businesses specifically, but she was never charged with anything. And here, Abraham Quintanilla also talks about five other occasions in which Yolanda tried to kill Selena, but couldn't. I think four or five other occasions, but was unsuccessful. 
Yo digo que si ese policía no le hubiera parado allí, ella venía para la oficina de nosotros, que es dos bloques de ahí, de ese, de ese motel. Ella venía a balachar más allá. She says, if the cop, if the cop hadn't stopped her right then and there, in two or three more blocks, she probably would have shot more, more people. Y la mujer que desató la controversia para un nuevo juicio, Yolanda Saldívar, habla por primera vez. Antes... And this is just the intro. Let's get to the interview. Come on. Here we go. This was TV back in 1995. Y'all, this is what I grew up to. Muy buenas noches. Les saluda Mirka de Llanos Loinaz y bienvenidos a otro Primer Impacto, edición nocturna. Y María Celeste Raraz, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo están? La entrevista exclusiva que tuvimos con Yolanda Saldívar hace unos días tuvo un profundo impacto en la familia de Selena. Por eso su padre se comunicó con nosotros para lo que él dijo en sus propias palabras, aclarar de una vez por todas las verdaderas intenciones de esta mujer. Lo que van... So the interview that she's saying, the exclusive interview that we had a couple days ago had such a profound impact on Selena's family. Therefore, Abraham Quintanilla is coming forward to speak and give details and uh, disclose the true intentions of this woman. Se van a ver ustedes es la primera vez que se enseñan estos cheques, estos documentos sensitivos que él ha descubierto a través de los meses en una investigación que él mismo llevó a cabo. Son nuevas revelaciones con ustedes, Abraham Quintanilla. So in this interview you're going to see new checks, new exclusive details that we had never seen before that will be revealed to you guys. Now, Abraham Quintanilla. Buenas noches, señor Quintanilla. Buenas noches. Señor Quintanilla, Yolanda Saldívar ha sido encontrada culpable y ha sido convicta a pasar el resto de sus días en la cárcel. ¿Por qué usted se siente en el deber de responder a las cosas que ella dijo en nuestra entrevista? Uh, señor Quintanilla, Yolanda Saldívar has been found guilty um, of murder and here we are weeks after the trial. Why do you feel it necessary um, to respond? Why do you feel it's your duty to respond? to her interview. Yo siento que yo tengo que defender la imagen de mi hija. I feel like I have to defend my daughter's image. Ella no está aquí para defenderse. She's not here to defend herself. Y yo este a mi familia les molesta mucho que esta mujer te ha en la en la televisión mundialmente. My family is very upset that this woman is on television worldwide telling lies. No mentiras. ¿Qué ha sido lo que más le ha impactado a su familia de lo que se dijo, de lo que dijo ella? What has been the thing that has impacted you the most that has been said or that she has said? Pues uh, realmente todas las cosas que dijo uh, tan tan absurdas. Well, really everything, all the things that she said that were so absurd. Por ejemplo, uh, insinuando de esta carta que esta carta anónima, ¿verdad? Que... For example, insinuating this anonymous letter que venía de Selena. That came from Selena. Que Selena le habla en el sueño, le dice cosas. That Selena speaks to her in her uh, dreams and she tells her stuff. Llamando a Selena mi hija y que Selena le decía madre. Calling Selena uh, my daughter and, and, uh, and that Selena calls her mother. ¿Cómo afectó eso a su esposa? How did that affect your wife? Ella está bastante herida por todo lo que ha pasado con su hija. She's very hurt with everything that has happened to her daughter. Este, pero cualquier persona en sus cinco sentidos eh, puede observar que esta mujer eh, le faltan tuercas. Well, but... It, Every, any person in their five senses can know that this woman is missing some nuts. Cuando ella le mandó un mensaje a su señora, ¿su esposa lo vio? No sé, realmente no sé. Cuando se yo, lo vi de, yo lo vi de, este, porque un, este, un familiar mío lo, 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 lo grabó en una cinta. All right, let me stop right here and let me go back a little bit. Um, mensaje a su señora. Su esposa lo vio. When Yolanda Saldivar sent a message to your wife, 
Did your wife watch it? No sé. I, I don't know. No sé. Yes, Vic. Thank you for clarifying. Uh, me, it's, he meant to say she's got a few screws loose. Thank you. <laughs> Shout out to Vic. Thank you, love. Yo lo vi de, yo lo vi de, este, porque un, este, un familiar mío lo, 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 lo grabó en una cinta. He says, I don't know if, he clarifies, I don't know if, um, if the wife had seen the video. However, he says, I saw it because one of my friends recorded it in a tape. Cuando le dijeron, si no lo vio, lo que dijo ese mensaje, ¿cómo se sintió ella? When, when. She was told about the message. How did she, how did she feel? Pues, uh, me imagino, uh, I mean, no comentó mi esposa, no, no me dijo nada, este, pero yo sí que sí estaba trastornada por, por las cosas que dijo. Says, well, my, my wife didn't say anything, but, but I know she was upset when, the, with the things that were said. Durante toda la entrevista, Yolanda Saldívar habló sobre un supuesto secreto. Quiero que usted responda si usted sabe algo, si hay un secreto o no hay un secreto. Throughout the interview, Yolanda Saldívar spoke about a supposed secret. Uh, is there anything that you have to say about a secret? Is there a secret? Is there no secret? Es pura basura. Es pura fabricación de, de, de la mente de ella. It's pure trash. It's pure fabrication of her own mind. Este, ella mató a mi hija y no y todavía no quiere parar ahí. Quiere herir a, la, a mi esposa. Quiere herir al esposo de Selena. She killed. She she killed my my daughter, and she doesn't want to stop there. She wants to hurt my wife. She wants to hurt Selena's husband. Uh, no sé qué será el problema de esta mujer. No, no, no puedo entender yo la mente de esta mujer. I, I don't know what her problem is. I, I can't understand the mind of this woman. Eh, eh, es, es, esa entrevista de esa mujer ha despertado uh, eh, muchas uh, uh, cosas malas. En, en, porque hay mucha gente afuera allí que están observando que, que también así, <laughs> les faltan tuercas. ¿Cómo? So that interview had awakened so many bad things. <sighs> And, and it's awakened uh, people that, you know, have come out and they're also missing a couple of loose screws or they have a couple of loose screws. ¿Cómo que? Dígame. A mí me han ya... e Explain it. What do you mean? Amado, tratando de eh, 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 pedirme dinero. She says, like what? And then Abraham Quitania says, they have called me and asked for money. Uh, que... People have called me and said they know secrets of Selena. They said that if I don't give them money, they're going to go to the news stations. They're going to uh, uh, go to uh, give out information. Selena was in And let me stop. Maria Celeste Arras then asked, and with Chris, everything was fine. Abraham says, if Selena was ups uh, in love with her husband. ¿Por qué usted cree que Yolanda Saldívar, habiendo tenido la opción de hacerlo, no decidió declararse temporalmente eh, loca? Why do you think that Yolanda Saldívar, having had the opportunity Why didn't she declare herself temporarily insane? Durante ese momento y haberse conseguido una condena a lo mejor de ser recluida en un hospital. And, and temporarily insane in that moment and got in a conviction where she would have just been sent to a hospital. Nomás, nomás uh, recuerda la entrevista que le hiciste tú. Just remember the interview that you did with her. Nunca admitió, ella decía que su conciencia estaba limpia. She never admitted. She said her conscience was clean. Nunca admitió culpabilidad. She never admitted guilt. Nunca ha aceptado la culpabilidad que mató a Selena. She's never accepted fault or 
responsibility fault for killing Selena. She took a soul. Ustedes durante el juicio, ¿cómo fue eso para ustedes? During the trial, how was that for you? Pues imagínate, yo nunca había estado dentro de una corte en mi vida. Well, just imagine, I had never been in a courtroom in my life. Es, es un, un uh, sentimiento, un feeling, ¿verdad? Bastante... Fuerte, porque estar sentado allí. It, it's a feeling, um, very strong feeling to be sitting there. Y que te estén acusando de todas estas cosas como que yo era el culpable. And, and have people accuse you of things like I'm the one at fault. Que yo era un padre, un capataz y que era un... Uh, que dominaba a mis hijos. That I was a father, I was a foreman, and that I was dominating my children. Sí, que había violado a esta mujer. Que te... And that I had raped this woman. Y, y estar sentado ahí y, y estar oyendo todas estas acusaciones y no puedes, no puedes decir nada, no puedes defenderte. And, and to sit there and listen to all of these accusations and you can't even defend yourself. Cuando yo salí de ahí ese día y fuimos una noche a, a comer a un restaurante, yo sentía como que todo ojo, todo el mundo me estaba mirando a mí. I, I left there and I went to eat at a restaurant one night and I felt like everybody was looking at me. Yo recuerdo que en la corte, una vez ella fue encontrada culpable, durante la etapa de la sentencia, el fiscal presentó cheques. During the time that she had been found guilty, the DA had presented, the prosecutor had presented some checks de Selena, etcétera, en particular. Of Selena, etcétera. Que mostraban ciertas irregularidades. In particular, the checks demonstrated a certain irregularity. Pero no mostraban que había sido un robo per se. But it didn't demonstrate that it was a robbery per se. Entonces la pregunta es, ¿por qué no he presentado en esa etapa? El fiscal... Eh... So I know that the question then is, why was... Why didn't the prosecutor present all of this up front? Uh, yo le pregunté esa, uh, esa pregunta a él. Abraham Quintanilla responds, I asked the same question as well. Y él me dijo que él no quería mezclar uh, el, el embezzlement, ¿cómo se dice embezzlement? Los, los cargos, los, las acusaciones de robo. Ajá, con, con la muerte o el I asked the same question to the DA as well, and the DA told me he didn't want to mix in the charges, the, the murder charges, with the embezzlement charges. Murder, ¿verdad? Que eran dos cosas separadas. This was two separate things. Uh, él, él iba a fijar todo su, 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 su caso en, uh, en la muerte. He wanted to fix the case on the murder. De que había suficiente prueba que lo que hizo ella no fue accidente. There was enough enough proof that what she did was not an accident. Durante el juicio, la fiscalía mostró cheques de Selena, etcétera, firmados por Yolanda en efectivo. During the trial, um, the DA presented uh, checks from Selena, etcétera, signed by Yolanda. Y las facturas adjuntas que esos cheques pagaban. Pero algunas and what these checks and the invoices paid. Las compañías indicaron que no recibieron los pagos de esa forma. Some of the companies indicated that they never received payment in that way. Los abogados de Yolanda Saldívar lo que trataron de hacer ver entre líneas era decir que para probar fraude hay que probar que no hubo consentimiento en este caso de Selena. Y so, Maria Celeste Herrera further breaks this down and says, what the DA explained is that in order to prove fraud, there would need to be proof that there was no consent from Selena with the checks. Y que, desgraciadamente, como Selena estaba muerta, pues no había forma de, de verificar que a lo mejor... But unfortunately, because Selena was dead, there was no way to verify. Por eso había sido una orden de Selena. If it was an order from Selena. Bueno, vamos a ver... Esto es aquí. Este era, este. Well, let's check what we have here. No era del negocio de Selena, era del club de fanáticos. This wasn't from Selena's business. This was from the fan club. 
Quintanilla procedió a enseñarnos la evidencia que nunca fue presentada en corte. María Ceres Herreras explains that Abraham then goes to show the evidence that was never shown in court. Okay, let me stop right here so I could take a drink of water because this is where things get a little bit more technical. Okay, so for those that are trying to figure out like where, where are we at, I'm going to ask you, there was another video that we did of translation where we actually translated the interview with um, Yolanda Saldivar in 1995 with Maria Celeste Herreras. It's very vital that you go watch that one to understand why we're here today with Abraham Quintanilla in 1995 and what he's trying to clarify. I'll give you a quick little rundown. Abraham Quintanilla sees the interview with the reporter and the interview, Yolanda Salivar is making all kinds of allegations. She's saying that there's a secret. She's saying she never stole from the company. And this was shortly after the trial, right? So after the trial, after the trial, that's when Yolanda Saliva decides to speak, okay, and give her part of the side of the story. But she's very vague and she's very manipulative and she doesn't answer the questions when she's being asked very specific questions, okay? She also does a lot of references where she's saying that Celine is her daughter. She gives a message out to Selena's mom, all right? And that is what Abraham Quintanilla was referencing. Like, this woman is crazy. And my wife saw the interview and didn't say anything, okay? So here we are, Abraham explains that during the, the trial, yes, these checks were talked about, but because they had enough evidence for the murder, right, they didn't necessarily charge her with the fraud, with the embezzlement, okay? So after she had already been convicted, Yolanda Saldivar, they were coming back and they were bringing all this, all these documents. And this is the documents that was given to the DA back in 1995 to figure out if they can actually uh, charge Yolanda in addition with murder, also with embezzlement. But let me tell you guys, that never happened. They didn't have enough to really move forward with any charges towards embezzlement for Yolanda Saldivar. Okay. They should have, but they didn't. They didn't. Um, as far as the murder, they had enough evidence for that. Now, let me take a drink of water. I got an ice in my mouth. Hold on. Hit the like button for the translator. Okay. And shout out to Vic. Yo, if you speak Spanish, if you can correct me, please correct me. Yo, I am not above correction. You already know I don't get it all right all the time. Please do correct me, and especially for watching the replay. Okay. These are the checks that Abram's touching. He's like, here you go. We're about to see it. Okay. Las pruebas con las que confrontó a Yolanda el pasado 9 de marzo durante una reunión en la que Selena y su hermana Suced estaban presentes. So, María Celes Herreras does the voiceover and says, these are the checks that Yolanda was confronted with on March 9th with it was it was Abraham Quintanilla, Yolanda and uh, or, excuse, Yolanda and Selena and Selena's sister. They all sat down there. If you've watched the movie, I think it's that part where, uh, you know, JLo sitting there, they're confronting Yolanda with stealing from, you know, stealing. And, you know, that that's where they get upset. This was clearly before she died. It was like a couple weeks before the murder, but these were the checks. These were what they were confronting Yolanda with. Preguntamos a Yolanda, Yolanda, ¿por qué empezaste tú eh, eh, la cuenta del fan club, de los club de fanáticos, bajo el nombre de tu hermana María Elida Saldívar? Yolanda, why did you uh, uh, sign on the fan club checks under your sister's name, Maria Juda Saldiva. Cuando ella ni siquiera era miembro del club. When she wasn't even a member of the of the club. ¿Por qué no dejaste que la tesorera se encargara de eso? Why didn't you let the treasurer handle that? ¿Y cuál fue su respuesta? La respuesta. What was her response? La respuesta de ella es, señor Quintanilla, es que el banco no me permitió abrir... Uh, una cuenta 
uh, sobre el nombre de la TV. Her response was, Señor Quintanilla, uh, it's just that the bank didn't let me open uh, an account under my name. ¿Por qué no, Yolanda? Why not, Yolanda? Pues no sé. I don't know. Pero cómo no, a mí eso no es lógico. Cualquier persona ir, puede ir con 100 dólares o 75 dólares y abrir un checking account. Yolanda, but that's not logical. Any person can go into the bank and open an account for a hundred dollars or, or seventy dollars and, and open. Una cuenta de, de cheque, ¿verdad? To open up a checking account. Entonces, si nota aquí, hacía, por ejemplo, hacía los, los, los cheques, la hermana de ella supuestamente le decía los cheques a Yolanda Saldívar. Por ejemplo, este pues, de 900. So if you notice here, Yolanda's sister would, would write the checks. She would sign them. She would write the checks to Yolanda Saldivar and would put the amount. 98. Y no le ponía el hermano. 998 aquí para que era el propósito del cheque. And they would never per, put the purpose of the check. Okay. Lo, que, lo correcto cuando uno que lleva las sí. cuentas claras. Which is, is the correct thing to do, says uh, María Celeste Herrerás, when you're trying to clarify your accounts. Entonces, so then, si vemos aquí, if we see here, la firma de Yolanda, Yolanda's signature, si compara usted, and you compare it with con la firma de María Elida Saldívar. And you compare it with María Elida Saldívar's Yolanda's sister signature. Es la misma firma. It's the, same, que, que it's the same signature. Es aquí que es Yolanda la que está haciendo los cheques. What is happening here, it's Yolanda that's making the checks. Usando el nombre de su hermana. Using her sister's name. Y pues cambiando los cheques. And so then cashing the checks. ¿Y dónde está ese dinero? So, where's that money? No, no, cuando nosotros fuimos a levantar todos los papeles, los, los records del, del club de fanáticos, no había, uh, uh, ¿cómo se dice records en español? No había archivos. When we went to go pick up the records from the fan club, from the bank, he asked, how do you say uh, records in Spanish? María Celeste Arreras clarifies uh, files. Archivos de 91, 92, 93, y 94. When we went to go pick up those files, there was no files for 91, 92, 93, and 94. Los todos. She got rid of them. Ahora, ella misma salió en la televisión diciendo que tenían más de 8,000 Miembros en el club de fanáticos. Now she went on TV and told people that they had more than 8,000 members in the fan club. A 22 dólares cada uno. At 22 dólares each. O sea que la suma la cuenta es, es bastante dinero. Only you do the math. It's a lot of money. Está ese dinero. Where's that money? Ellos hacían una pregunta que le quería hacer. Ellos mm -hmm. hacían anualmente una fiesta para Selena. Uh, and that's what I wanted to ask. Um, uh, they would do a party annually to honor Selena. Como para homenajearla. Que era para... to, to give her a, 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 how do you say the word? Damn, I can't even say it. Hold up. Hold up. Let me think what word I'm trying to use. I could say it in Spanish, but I can't say it in English. Let me hold up. Break. <laughs> Homenajearna. Mm. Is it homage? Okay, it's to honor her. That's what he's trying to say. Ha pagado con producto de de lo que se conseguía del fan club. Bueno, hold up. See, let me go back a little bit. Esta para Selena como para homenajearla. Homenajearla. Ha pagado con producto de de lo que se conseguía del fan club. So, she says, was the party paid by products of what was obtained from the fan club. Bueno, eso, eso, por ejemplo, yes. uh, 
los lugares donde se hacía nos los daban gratis. I mean, lo que se gastaba ahí no era nada, casi nada de dinero. The, the places that they would hold these parties was almost like free. What uh, uh, you would make or, or what you would spend was, was almost like nothing. Homage. Yes. Is that how you say that? I think that's how you say that. That's what I meant to say. Homenajearla is, is, is uh, an homage. I think that's how you say that. I could have said it wrong. Let me know. Correct me in the chat. Aquí nos hallamos una carta. Here we found a letter. En diciembre, una de nuestras miembros, Iván Perales, eh, llevaba tres mil dólares, ¿ok? A depositar en la cuenta de los clubes de fanáticos. Here we found a fan club letter of a, I think, Iván. Hold up. Aquí nos hallamos una carta, dice, en diciembre... Here we found a letter that it says in December. Una de nuestras miembros, Iván Perales. One of our members, Iván Perales. Eh, llevaba tres mil dólares. She took three thousand dollars. She had three thousand dollars. Okay. A depositar en la cuenta de los clubes de fanáticos. To deposit to the to to the account of the 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 fan page. Dice, yo me di cuenta en enero. The fan club. Pero que Iván no había depositado el dinero y que se había perdido y no la hallábamos. I found out that Iván had not deposited that money and that it had been lost. No la hallan. Dice. They couldn't find it. Después, yo escribí un cheque por 998 y otro por 1,800 cuando el banco no había, no había fondos en el banco. So then I wrote a check for 109, for, a, for 998, and then 1,800. Después que le hice los cheques a mi hermana Yolanda Saldívar. Ooh, hold up, y'all. This, is, this got me lost. Yolanda, la que está escribiendo esta carta, pretendiendo que su hermana María. What's en that? enero, que Iván... No había depositado el dinero y que se había perdido y no la hallábamos. No la hallan. Ok. Dice, después. So, oh, hold up, y'all. A depositar en la cuenta de los clubes de fanáticos. Dice, yo me di cuenta en el... So then she realizes, and he's kind of referencing this letter. Enero. That in January. Que Iván no había depositado el dinero. That Ivan had not deposited the money. Pero y que se había perdido no la hallábamos. And that it had been lost. No la hallan. Dice, después yo escribí un cheque. I then wrote a check. Por 998. For 998 and another for 1,800. Y otro por 1,800. Cuando el banco no había, no había fondos en el banco. When there was no funds in the bank. Después que le hice los cheques a mi hermana Yolanda. After I wrote the checks to my sister. Yolanda Saldívar. Yolanda Saldívar. Yolanda, la que está escribiendo esta carta, pretendiendo que es su hermana María y Saldívar. So, the letter that Abraham Quintanilla is showing right now is a letter that he is alleging was written by uh, Yolanda Saldívar, pretending to be Yolanda Saldívar's sister. Okay? El propósito de la carta es cerrar la cuenta. So the purpose of the account was to close the account. This is what Maria Celeste Arras is asking. Sí, bueno, lo que dice aquí dice, dice, yo sé que esto, que el banco va a tener que a asumir la pérdida. So he's reading the letter and he says, I know that the bank is going to have to assume or take over the loss. Y, y, y estamos de acuerdo que vamos a cerrar la cuenta del... And we agree to close the bank. The account. Banco. Okay. So en esto aquí se, se llevó tres mil dólares. So in this right here, she took three thousand dollars. Y otros casi tres mil dólares total aquí de los cheques. Que... And, and almost another, almost three thousand to pay to the checks. Casi, casi. En esta cosa. Se llevó... Almost, almost. O cerca de seis mil dólares. So she almost took about six thousand. Y le preguntamos, Yolanda, ¿quién es Iván Perales? 
Then we asked her, Yolanda, who is Ivan Perales? ¿Y sabes qué la respuesta de ella fue? And you know what her answer was? No sé, señor Quintanilla. I don't know, Mr. Quintanilla. Pero cómo no vas a saber? But how else are you not going to know? No confías en que el tesorero del club se encargue del, de, de los, eh, el dinero del, del club, pero vas a confiar en una persona que es completamente extraña. So you don't trust the treasurer of the group, but you're going to trust a complete stranger con $3, en efectivo que vaya with $3,000 in, in cash a depositar en el banco. for them to go deposit the money? Esas mentiras van a decir a otra persona. The, the, that's just lies. Ya teníamos la prueba y todo eso. Y sabemos qué es lo que estaba haciendo. We already had the proof of what she was doing. Y si fue así, ¿por qué no al día siguiente de ella ser encontrada culpable se radica una demanda, una acusación de robo? So if that is the case, why wasn't there a lawsuit? Why wasn't something, you know, uh, uh, more quickly to have happened to accuse her of theft? Porque yo no realmente, yo no lo iba, no lo iba a hacer. Because honestly, I wasn't going to do it. Ella tenía la opción, le di la opción de que se fuera. Because I gave her the option. She had the option to leave. Y buscar trabajo en otro lugar. Go find work somewhere else. Pero la, ella no quiso esa opción. But she didn't want that option. Ella quiso vengarse. She wanted revenge. El padre de Selena dice que cuando Yolanda comenzó el club de fanáticos, le aseguró que sería una organización sin fines de lucro y que el dinero recaudado sería donado a obras de caridad. All right, let me stop right here. She does a little voiceover and she says, um, when Yolanda, Yolanda had assured Abraham Quintanilla that, that the fan club would have their donate, they would have donations to the fan clubs to like nonprofits or charities. Organización sin fines de lucro y que el dinero recaudado sería donado a obras de caridad. So money raised was supposed to go to charities. Bueno, después nos dimos cuenta nosotros por todos estos papeles que nos sabemos ahí de Yolanda. So then later on we found out after seeing all the paperwork, um, we didn't know about Yolanda. Dice aquí DBA Selena y los Dinos Fan Club. It says right here. DBA Selena and Los Dinos Fan Club. DBA in Spanish in English is doing business as. DBA in in English is doing business as. Or or ya sea. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Uh, haciendo negocio. O sea que básicamente esto lo que implica era que se estaba manejando como si fuese un negocio. Como so what this is implying is that it was driving like a business it was being managed as a business un negocio, y no como like a business ella nos había dicho. and not like how she was telling us and then we check the tax numbers and it was her social security quintanilla nos enseñó una carta de la oficina del fiscal de san antonio dirigida a yolanda Uh, Quintanilla then shows a letter to Maria Celeste Raraz, uh from the, oh, hold up, let me go back, where did they say it was from? Here it is. El, el número de, de, las, de las taxes, eres el seguro social de ella. Quintanilla nos enseñó una carta de la oficina del fiscal de San Antonio. Quintanilla then shows, uh, Mr. Abraham Quintanilla then shows a letter from the DA. Dirigida a Yolanda. Directed towards Yolanda Saldivar en donde le notifican que hay una querella contra ella por usar cheques para robar dinero. That where they tell Yolanda that there is a complaint against her. Y que procederán con una investigación. That they were planning to proceed with an investigation and this was regarding checks. Esa oficina nos dijo hoy que el caso se cerró después de que Yolanda accedió a restituir la cantidad que fue en exceso de 750 dólares. So that Uh, um, Maria Celeste Herrera's followed up and she was told that um, that case was closed because she was able to pay the amount of $750. So this was a pass uh, transaction, basically stealing money. And I believe that, well, that case was closed 
before Selena, before the fan club. Usted básicamente se ha convertido con esta situación en un detective. En Colombo. He's like, yeah, so she said, I basically, you basically become a detective. Yeah, a Colombo. A Colombo. A detective Colombo. He said, call me Colombo. Está bromeando, pero lo que dice es muy, pero que muy serio. ¿Cuándo? He's joking, but what he's saying is really, really serious. Cuando regresemos, when we return, veremos por qué él asegura que a raíz de la investigación que él personalmente hizo, Yolanda, según él, trató de matar a Selena en cuatro ocasiones. So, when we return, uh, Abraham Quintanilla is going to tell us how Yolanda tried to kill Selena in several other occasions. Regresamos. A continuación, vamos a recordar, vamos a transportarnos a aquel pasado 9 de marzo cuando el padre de Selena, su hermana Suzette y la misma cantante se reunieron para confrontar a Yolanda por la supuesta alegación de robo. So, when we start, we're going to go back to March 9th, when Yolanda Saldivar was confronted by uh, uh, Selena, Suzette and Abraham regarding the alleged theft of checks and money. Él jura que a raíz de esa confrontación, Saldívar trató de matar a la cantante en cuatro ocasiones y que no fue sino hasta el quinto atentado que logró hacerlo. This is why, this is the root of why uh, Abraham Quintanilla believes that Yolanda tried to kill Selena four other times and it was the fifth that where she, she was successful. Tuvo cuatro atentados y la mató en el quinto. There was four attempts and she killed her on the fifth. Atentado. Chris me dice que Selena habló con Yolanda esa noche y le supo esa noche. Chris tells me that Selena spoke with Yolanda that night and that that night le dijo que ya no podía confiar en ella. He told her he couldn't trust her. That night, excuse me, Selena told Yolanda that she couldn't trust her any longer. El siguiente día, el día 10. The next day, the 10th of March. Quitaron a Yolanda de que hiciera cheques. They removed Yolanda from writing checks. Le quitaron la firma. They took her signature. El día 11, el sábado 11. The 11th, which on Saturday, the 11th. Yolanda fue y aplicó por la pistola. Yolanda went to apply for the gun. Es que ya ha habido ella que ya se tomaron pasos ya afuera. That's when she knew, she saw that they were taking steps, that steps were being taken outside. Afuera ya. Según los, los registros, ella le eh, compró la pistola el lunes día 13. According to the registry and records, she bought the gun on the 13th, which was a Monday. Y fue con un abogado y hizo una carta de resignamiento. She went to a lawyer and wrote a resignation letter. De la compañía Selena. Lo of the Selena company. Lo que estaba haciendo aquí estaba preparando ella un alibi. What she was doing here, she was preparing an alibi. Ese mismo día. El día That same day. Día 13. The 13th, levantó la pistola, la compró. Where she picked up the gun. Ella se vino inmediatamente para el pueblo de Corpus Christi, Texas. She went immediately to the Corpus Christi town. Yes. Y se metió al Sand and Sea Motel el día 13. And she went into the hotel on the 13th. Ese mismo lunes. That same Monday. Ella venía a matar a Selena ya. She was coming to kill Selena now. ¿Qué pasó? So then what happened? Lo que pasó cuando llegó a Corpus es que Selena no estaba en Corpus. See, what happened when she went to Corpus, Selena wasn't in Corpus. El siguiente día, el martes. The next day, Tuesday. Es 14. Yolanda. The 14th. Yolanda le llama a Selena. Yolanda calls Selena. Y le dice... Estoy en San Antonio. I, and call Selena and tell Selena I'm in San Antonio. Vengo para Corpus a entregarte los, los papeles del... I'm going to Corpus to, to give you the paperwork. 
negocio, porque ella se había llevado todos los documentos. I'm, I'm going to Corpus to give you the business paperwork because she had taken all the business paperwork. Estaba en Corpus, porque el hotel estaba en Corpus. Bueno. Well, she, María Celeste Herrera says, well, she was in Corpus because the hotel's in Corpus. Ella le dijo eso a Selena por teléfono. That's what she told Selena on the phone. Estoy en San Antonio. I'm in San Antonio. Ok. Vengo para Corpus, pero no quiero entrar al pueblo y pelear con el tráfico. I'm in San Antonio, but I'm heading to Corpus, but I don't really want to fight the traffic. So, encuéntrame en K-Bob's parking lot. So, find me or meet me at K-Bob's parking lot. Un estacionamiento de un restaurante que es, es como 25 millas afuera de Corpus. It's, it's a restaurant. It's, it's an establishment, a restaurant that's about 25 miles um, out of Corpus. ¿Por qué no la mató? So, el, so why, should, why didn't she kill her? The plan was to maintain her in the work until they found someone who would replace her. So the plan was, was to find her at work. This was Selena's plan, was to find her at work or keep her at work until somebody replaced Yolanda. Cuando Selena la encontró en el estacionamiento allí, esa mujer venía a matar a Selena. So the, the day that Selena found her at that establishment, that woman was planning to kill Selena. Pero cuando Selena le dice, But when Selena tells her, Puedes trabajar lo de México, pero las boutiques aquí en Corpus y en San Antonio no puedes trabajar allá. But when Selena tells her you could work The, the business is in Mexico, but the boutiques here in San Antonio, you can't. Eso calmó a la mujer. That calmed her down. Porque se, y probablemente se sintió que estaba todavía una, un día dentro de, de, de las organizaciones de nosotros. Probably because Yolanda felt that her foot was, she still had one foot in the organization. Se regresa para San Antonio y devuelve la pistola y recoge su dinero. She goes back to San Antonio, she returns the gun, and collects her money. Según él, Selena se and collects his money, excuse me. Dio cuenta de que Yolanda no le había entregado los documentos que había prometido y se molestó con ella. Es aquí cuando tiene lugar el supuesto segundo atentado. Okay, let me stop right here. Let me go back a little bit. She does a little voice over here. Se regresa para San Antonio. Y devuelve la pistola y recoge su dinero. Según él, Selena se dio cuenta de que Yolanda no le había entregado los documentos. According, she's doing the voiceover, the reporter says, according to Abraham Quintanilla, Selena realizes that Yolanda hadn't given her the documents. Que había prometido. Y the documents that had been promised. Y se molestó con ella. So Selena was upset with Yolanda. Es aquí cuando tiene lugar el supuesto segundo atentado. This is when the alleged second attack takes place. Selena le empieza a hablar por teléfono. La mujer se pone pánico. Selena starts calling her on the phone. The woman starts to panic. Yolanda. Y regresa al lugar el día 26. Y come. So the woman starts to panic and Yolanda returns to the place on the 26th. Compra la pistola otra vez. And buys the gun again. Ese mismo día, el 26, cuando levantó la pistola, se dejó venir para Corpus otra vez. La misma cosa. That same day on the 26, when she bought the gun, she goes back to Corpus. Hizo el día 13, cuando levantó. The same gun that she got on the 13th, she got it on the 26. A las 12.57, mediodía. At about 12.57, noon. Entró al hotel. She went into the hotel. She enters the hotel. Aquí está todo, la información. Th this is all the information. A la firma de ella. This, her signature's there. Cuando Serena llega al hotel, las, las trabajadoras se esparrama la palabra aquí. Fíjate quién está aquí, Serena. Ahora uno. So once Selena gets to the hotel, all of the workers start saying, guess who's here? Selena, Selena, Selena. Autógrafo, prontito, ¿quién trae un... they're, they're asking her for an autograph. Una cámara. Somebody had a camera. 
Yo digo que Yolanda, usando el mismo, el mismo patrón de lo que hizo el primer día cuando compró la pistola, ella venía a matar a Selena. I say, it's my theory, that Yolanda was using the same pattern of meeting up with Selena to kill Selena. Pero las trabajadoras del hotel interrumpieron. But the hotel workers asking her for autographs interrupted Yolanda. Había muchos testigos. There's too many witnesses. No pudo matarla allí. She couldn't kill her then. Tras reconstruir los pasos de Yolanda, el padre de Selena encontró que Yolanda se fue ese mismo día 26 del motel y se dirigió hacia Monterrey, México. De While Abraham Quintanilla is trying to reconstruct Yolanda's steps and Selena's steps. Hold up. Let me see what she said here. Give me one sec, guys. Ooh. Even the closed caption sucks for translation. No pudo matarla allí. Tras reconstruir los pasos de Yolanda, el padre de Selena encontró que Yolanda se fue ese mismo día 26 del motel y se dirigió hacia Monterrey. So while reconstructing the steps that Yolanda was making, Abraham Quintanilla found that, Sel that Yolanda, that same day on the 26th, went from the hotel and headed towards Monterrey, México. México. Desde allí llamó al doctor. From there. Ricardo Martínez, a quien she called the doctor Ricardo Martínez, which we talked about. Keep that in mind. Quintanilla dice considera un buen amigo. Who Abraham Quintanilla, from the time of this interview, considered a good friend. Lo llamó. Gritó. She calls him. Gritando. Shouting. Ricardo, Ricardo, me, me secuestraron y me violaron. Ricardo, Ricardo, they called me, they kidnapped me. They raped me. Yolanda, ¿dónde estás? Boom. He says, Yolanda, where are you? Boom. Cerraba el teléfono. They hang up the phone. A rato, a los 15 minutos, habla otra vez. Ricardo, Ricardo. Por... 15 minutes later, Yolanda calls again. Ricardo, Ricardo. Por favor, me secuestraron y me violaron. Y... They raped me. They kidnapped me. Pues Yolanda, dime dónde estás. Por... Well, Yolanda, tell me where you're at. Ricardo's telling Yolanda. Yolanda, tell me where you're at. Boom, cerraba el teléfono. Hangs up again. Pero Ricardo, ya para este tiempo, dice algo está mal aquí. By this time, Ricardo, this is what Abraham Quintanilla is recounting. He's saying, by this time, Ricardo says, something's wrong here. Y mandó un trabajador de él al hotel donde él sabía que estaba Yolanda quedándose. So he, so he sends, Ricardo sends one of his workers to where Yolanda Sandivar was staying at the hotel. Van a, 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 a ir a, el, donde se registra. They go, he goes there to where she registered. Preguntan por Yolanda. El señor le dice... Acaba de salir ahorita. Hace... It, it, he goes in there to check on the registry. He's asking for Yolanda. And the front desk person says, she, she left. She just left. Cinco minutos acaba de salir. Five Yolanda. minutes ago. Entonces todas esas llamadas se salen de ahí del hotel. Estaba hablando ahí del hotel, del celular. So all those calls, Yolanda was calling from the hotel via the cell phone. Ya no se oyó nada de Yolanda, ese fue el jueves, el día 30. So, you didn't hear, we didn't hear anything more about Yolanda. That was Thursday, the 30th. La mujer se regresa para Texas. The woman, Yolanda, returns to Texas. Cruza ahí por Laredo. She crosses through Laredo. Y le llama a Selena con la misma historia. Selena, por favor, que... que She calls Selena with the same story. Selena, Selena. Me, me secuestraron y que, que... They kidnapped me. They raped me. Y me robaron el carro y ahí estaban... And they stole my car. Sus papeles. And, and the papers that she was requesting were in the car. Los documentos del... Ese era el plan de... Es... All the documents. Abraham says, and that was her plan. That was her plan. Ese era el alibi. La cuartada. That was the alibi. Ajá. Ya por el resto del día no se no oímos de Yolanda. Hasta... Now for the rest of the day we didn't hear about Yolanda. A esa noche. Until that night. 
cuando llegó a Corpus y se hospedó en el Days Inn. When, until she arrived to Corpus and she checked in on the Days Inn. ¿Cuándo ocurre el tercer supuesto atentado? When did the third event, uh, the third attempt on Selena's life occurred? Eh, cuando ella llegó al Days Inn y, y le llama Selena. So when she arrived at the Days Inn and called Selena. Ese era, iba a ser el, el, el tercer atento. De that was going to be the third attempt. Para Selena. To kill Selena. Pero Chris, el esposo de Selena. But Chris, Selena's husband. Dijo, tú no vas sola. You're, says you're not going alone. Yo voy contigo. I'm going to go with you. So Chris, el esposo de Selena y Selena vienen al hotel. So Chris and Selena go to the hotel. A recoger los supuestamente documentos. To pick up these documents, these supposed documents. Cuando ella se da cuenta que Chris está fuera de la puerta. When Yolanda realizes that Chris is outside the door. Ahí le da todo el plan de ella. That's when her plan was ruined. Pregunta, si Yolanda le había dicho a Selena que le habían robado los documentos porque le habían robado el carro, ¿cómo Selena va a buscar los documentos entonces? Bueno. Okay, question. If, and let me go back a little bit so I understand her question a little bit more. Um, robado el carro. ¿Cómo Selena... One second, y'all. Ahí le da todo el plan de ella. Pregunta, si Yolanda le había dicho a Selena... Que la... If Yolanda had asked Selena... Le han robado los documentos porque la... That they had stolen the documents... Le han robado el carro. Because they had stolen the car... ¿Cómo Selena va a buscar los documentos entonces? Bueno. How is Selena going to find, go look for these documents? Bueno, cuando ella habla con Selena en el teléfono. Well, when she talks to Selena on the phone. Selena le hizo esa pregunta. Selena asked her that question. Según Chris. Bueno, que se habían robado. With Chris. Todos los papeles que estaban en la cajuela de, del carro. Y de so then Chris is like, well, I thought they had stolen the, the, the car and the paperwork. Habían robado el carro. La contestación de ella dice, sí, pero no se robaron todos. Ella iba a matar a... So, so, Yolanda responds and continues. Well, they didn't, they didn't steal all the papers. Selena allí. Quintanilla está con... That's when her plan was to kill Selena that day. Convencido de que Yolanda Porque hubiese matado a Selena de haber podido ese mismo día. Or... Okay, so she does a voiceover. Give me one second. Robaron todos. Ella iba a matar a Selena allí. Quintanilla está convencido de que Yolanda Porque hubiese matado a Selena de haber podido ese mismo día. María Celeste Herrera says, Abraham Quintanilla is convinced that, that it was Yolanda Saldivar was wanting to kill Selena that night. That night. Horas más tarde. But it happened hours later. Como 10 o 15 minutos después de la medianoche. So about 10 to 15 minutes after midnight, Yolanda le llama a Selena. Yolanda calls Selena. Chris, el esposo de ella, estaba acostado en la cama enseguida de... Chris was laying next to Selena. De Selena. Next to Selena. Y, y Selena tapa el teléfono. And Selena covers the phone. Y le dice a Chris, ¿qué hago? Quiere que vaya para atrás y la levante ahorita y la lleve con el doctor porque se está sangrando. Chris, uh, uh, so Yolanda had called Selena talking about the rape. And, and she says she covers the phone so Yolanda doesn't hear. Selena then asks Chris, Chris, what do I do? She wants me to go back because she's bleeding. Entonces, esa es, la está tratando de... So this is when she was attempting to lure her in. Traerla para atrás al hotel para matarla. To bring her back to the hotel, lure her back to the hotel to kill her. Ese es el, lo, que yo, lo que yo llamo el atento número cuatro. That's what I call the fourth attempt. Pero Chris le dice a Selena. But Chris tells Selena. Dale una excusa, mañana. Lo Give her an excuse, tomorrow we will. Lo hacemos. We'll, we'll do something. Como sabemos, a la mañana siguiente, Selena llevó a Yolanda al hospital y a su regreso en el motel recibió el balazo que la mató. So that morning, uh, uh, María Celeste Herrera is, is 
recapping the details, as we know, Yolanda, uh, Serena takes Yolanda to the hospital, okay, then to the hotel, and that's when all of this goes down, the murder of Selena. In terms of, you said a moment, he brought a name, he brought a collation, the name of Dr. Ricardo Martinez. In terms of the name, Dr. Uh, Ricardo Martinez, the Dr. Ricardo Martinez, when we interviewed him, said that he was a very close person cercana a Selena en los últimos días de Dr. Martinez eh, reported, self-reported that he was a very close friend of Selena. Su vida, porque in the last days, era su confidente, doctor. Eh, he was his uh, confidant, doctor, eh, asesor financiero, financial advisor, etcétera, etcétera. Y ahora usted me dice que amigo suyo. And, and now you're telling me he was also your friend. He told me that, the, that Selena was very sad leading up to the days of her death. Él nos dijo eso. He told me that. Mira, la, la realidad de la cosa es esta, mira. El mal que hicimos nosotros. The, the reality of the situation is this. The wrong that we did fue de no apoyar más a Selena en, was not to support Selena en su negocio. In her business. Ese era el sueño de ella. That was her, her, her dream. ¿Usted se arrepiente? Sí. Eh, Do you regret it? Eh, si, si yo hubiera uh, apoyado más a Selena en su negocio, porque yo estaba envuelto en la música, ¿verdad? If I, yes, if I would have supported Selena more in her business because I was so into the music, entonces, yo estaba tan ocupado en esto. I was so busy in this. Uh, 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 que si hubiéramos puesto más atención. If we would have paid more attention. Y ayudarla y apoyarla en ese negocio porque ese era el sueño de ella. Because, and, and help her and support her because that was her dream. Posiblemente esto nunca hubiera, nunca hubiera pasado esto. Possibly none of this would have happened. Al, al no darle ese apoyo, eh, como dice el dicho vulgar, entró el coyote. By not giving her that support, as the vulgar saying says, the coyote enters the chicken coop. O, o la zorra a, al gallinero. Me imagino que eso tiene que ser. Or the fox into the hen house. Es muy fuerte para usted saber que, que si hubiese recibido ese apoyo, a lo mejor no hubiese pasado. ¿Cómo usted lidia? I, I would imagine that this would be hard for you to know that it had she would have received some level of support, this wouldn't have happened. Con esa situación. How do you deal with all of this? Oh, give me one sec. Sorry, you guys, I got a phone call. ¿Cómo usted se tranquiliza? How do you calm yourself? Oh, can you guys see me? Okay, let me know. I just got a phone call. It's, uh... Ahorita todavía no hay tranquilidad en, en los... Well, right now there is no peace. Nosotros. Ni aún con la convicción de Yolanda Saldiva. Not even with Yolanda's conviction. No, porque al final del día nada va, nada va a traer a mi hija para atrás a la vida. Because regardless, nothing is ever going to bring her back to life. Le quitó la vida y ahora tenemos que depender en Dios que la resucite en el futuro. And now we just have to depend on God to resurrect her in the in the next life. Señor Quintanilla, in the future. Si usted fue la persona que confrontó a Yolanda Saldívar con estos supuestos robos y fraudes, ¿por qué ella no lo mató a usted y mató a Selena? Um, uh, señor Quintanilla, Mr. Quintanilla, if if you were the one confronting Selena or confronting Yolanda with, with all these accusations and allegations of, of uh, fraud, embezzlement, why didn't Selena kill you? Yo sé que, eh, según lo que, lo que estamos uh, viendo ahora con, lo que, con el juicio y todo eso, que ella me tenía un coraje a mí, ¿verdad? I know that now that we're, we've gone through the trial, I know that she was mad at me. ¿Cómo podría dañar más a mi familia? ¿Cómo crees tú? How do you think she would have hurt me and my family? How do you think? Con matar a Selena. By killing Selena. 
Yo digo que si ese policía no le hubiera parado allí, ella venía para la oficina de nosotros que es dos bloques de ahí de ese, de ese motel. I'm saying that if she had not been stopped by the cops, which we were two blocks from there, she would have done it. Ella venía a balasear más allá. She, she was heading to uh, shoot. Sí, tal vez. Yo creo. You, you mean you? Yes, I believe so. Sí. Porque a mí me tenía mucho coraje. Because I believe so, because she was mad at me. ¿A usted le hubiese gustado que lo hubiese matado usted en vez de Selena? Do, do you, would you have preferred you have been killed than Selena? Yo prefiero que hubiera sido yo que era tan joven. I would have preferred for me to have been killed than her. She was so young. Yeah, apenas estaba. She was just. Empezando su vida. Starting her life. Señor Quintanilla, eh, ¿cuándo va a terminar todo esto? Yo vine aquí con... Señor Quintanilla, when is this going to be done? Ustedes a enseñar esto, esta prueba. I came here with you guys to show this evidence. Uh, ya se, se ha, está haciendo más investigación... Uh, por los, por las policías, el, 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 están... As they're doing more investigation by police. El negocio de Selena. Lo que te mostré aquí es del club de fanáticos. What I've demonstrated to you is what we have from the fan club. Lo que nunca antes había visto. Sí. What nobody has ever seen. Que nunca, no se había visto antes. Never seen before. Ya hay prueba de que estaba robando también del negocio de Selena. And there is proof that she was stealing from Selena's businesses. Se le van a hacer cargos. And there will be charges. When? That is something that the uh, prosecutor has to decide when. Give me one sec, guys. One sec. Okay. As we're finishing up here. Pero yo vine aquí con el propósito de que ya terminar esto. I came here with the purpose to finish this. Ya sabemos qué fue lo que hizo esta mujer. We already know what this woman did. Uh, todas esas cosas feas, esa basura que se está diciendo allá, uh, que se termine eso, porque eso... All those ugly things that people are saying over there, have that, let's end that. No es una realidad. That's not the reality. Por desgracia, este caso está lejos de cerrarse. Hoy hablamos con el fiscal Valdés, quien nos... Unfortunately, this case is far from being over. Today we spoke to the prosecutor. Dijo que están analizando los resultados de la auditoría hecha a la compañía Serena, etc. They're, they're uh, at the time, they were reviewing the signature of the company Selena, etc. Y que tan pronto tengan una decisión final, van a llevar eso ante un gran jurado para que... Once they have a decision, they will take it upon a grand jury to determine... Termine si hay o no causa suficiente para acusar a Yolanda Saldívar. If there's enough of a case to move forward against Yolanda Saldívar. Formalmente. De... Formally. Robo. Eso es todo por ahora. Por una... charger with robbery. Okay. La bala ases... Uy. I think that's it. That's done. That was the interview. That only took us, I don't know, an hour and 20. It was a lot shorter than last time. Okay, guys. Uh, shout out to everybody in the chat. Um, I'm going to, I have to do some timestamps here, definitely. So we're going to do that for those that are watching the replay. Shout out to you because I know we had a lot of people watching the replay uh, on the other ones. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I Again, this is an We're going to be reviewing the series, but you cannot not talk about what happened in 1995 with the first two interviews. Those interviews are very, these interviews are very important, very important to understand now what new information is Yolanda Saldivar going to tell the people. That's truly what this is about. I will see you guys on the next one. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Shout out to you guys. Thank you guys for being here. And Crafty Kid, thank you for renewing your membership. You guys have a great night. Rabbits out, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs>